Hey guys, Theo James here. Welcome back to the channel where we take awesome out of the box. In this one, we're doing something completely different to the content that you're used to seeing on this channel because we're checking out the Toyota Corolla Altis Hybrid. So just a quick disclaimer before we begin, this is not going to be really a review, more of I'm going to be talking about the benefits of having a hybrid, but I will be talking about some of the aspects of the car. I will leave the full review to the folks over in the motoring world, but anyway, let's take a closer look at the car itself and talk about some of its specs. It's like phone, no? So this time, literally under the hood of the 2020 Toyota Altis Hybrid is a one point liter engine paired up, of course, with an electric motor, giving you 121 horsepower and 521 neutron meters of torque. And I'll be talking about the drive later on. Yes, I am back in the studio for this one, but this is the perfect time to talk about the first benefit of owning a hybrid, the fuel economy. All right, since we're talking about fuel economy here, I've been averaging about 15.2 to about 14.8 kilometers to the liter. That's with driving within the city, guys. This 15.2 is kind of skewed because that's us test driving this car where the roads were relatively free. But yeah, 14.8 while it was traffic, given that it's pandemic traffic, but that's still pretty good. Now before ECQ hit and Leah and I were able to take out the Altis for a longer drive on the highway, I was actually averaging about 22 kilometers per liter. So it makes me think that my daily driver is a bit of a gas guzzler. Like I mentioned, these numbers are kind of skewed because we never experienced driving around the Altis with EDSA traffic from two to three years back. But remember, this is part EV or electric vehicle. So there are times where it runs strictly on just the batteries or even when it's kind of in a sleep mode, if I could say that. So this brings me to the second benefit of owning a hybrid, which is less CO2 emissions. So I have no way of measuring this myself, but I think we can all agree that even a little bit can go a long way to cut down on air pollution. So if you want to lessen your environmental impact, but still have a great ride, the Altis Hybrid makes for a very good option. I mentioned earlier that there are times where the Altis fully runs on the battery, which brings me to the next benefit of owning a hybrid. Those batteries actually self-charge. By the way, if you're wondering, they have a five-year warranty. So of course, the end goal here is to reduce the amount of greenhouse gases. So the full-on electric vehicle definitely has the advantage here. But since that requires having more infrastructure and charging stations like that, it will take a while before it becomes fully viable here in the Philippines, meaning that a hybrid is a good option to have. All right, so I think we've spent enough time in a studio setup talking about a car. Let's get in the vehicle itself where I can talk about the rest of the benefits. So as I mentioned earlier, under the hood of the Toyota Altis is a 1.8 liter engine that will give you 121 horsepower. Now let's be honest here, you're not gonna be winning any drag races with this car, but that's not what it's built for. That being said, I didn't feel like it was underpowered in any way. There was definitely enough zip under the hood of this car. And if you decide to take it out of town, you can safely overtake that slow moving vehicle on that two lane highway. So you might be wondering what it's like when it switches over from gas to electric and vice versa. And let me tell you right now, it does so really seamlessly as in sobrang suave niya. You just feel a bit of vibration or lack thereof depending on what it's switching to. And yeah, it's super, super subtle. I really love it. You can hardly tell. By the way, the suspension on the Altis is fantastic, but that's just me. And my daily driver is a what could be considered an entry-level sedan, so I was completely blown away. It's a really comfortable ride. But to give you guys a bit of an idea, if you live in Metro Manila, I'm sure you know that stretch of road on C5 Libis where the truck lane is just a complete disaster. Now, I'm not saying that this car can completely mitigate that mess, but it definitely dampened the whole experience and made it a bit more comfortable. But again, if you're driving there, please avoid the truck lane as much as you can. Okay, so the third sub point when it comes to the drive is that it's super quiet, as in sobra. And I love it how the people from Auto Deal put it. They said that this is the ultimate takas car, not that I'm trying to escape my wife or anything like that. But when you turn it on for the very first time, it's so, so quiet. You can back out of your garage without waking the people in your house. 
And actually, story time, guys, when I first took this out around the village to see what I was getting myself into, I actually left the car on when I got back to the house, thinking that I, you know, the engine was already off. Yun pala open pa pala, hindi ko malock yung car. And then, yeah, you just have to press this little power button right here, and yeah, there you go. So it was super, super quiet. Okay, so we're back in the studio, and one question that you guys might be asking is what about maintenance? Is it any different? Now, the good thing here is it really isn't. You bring your car in every 5,000 kilometers to get your preventive maintenance, and the boys at Toyota can check out if everything is running as it should be. Now, that being said, I wouldn't take this to your friendly neighborhood talier, but the good thing about Toyota is, is that it's like the Starbucks of car brands, meaning you'll find a dealership and a service center without traveling far in case you run into any issues. So we talked about the benefits of owning a hybrid, specifically this Toyota Altis, but I can't end this video without talking about how good this car looks on the outside. So yes, personally, I think that this vehicle looks Fantastic. I like the styling of the front from the slim angular LED headlamps. The gills, yes guys, hindi lang isda ang may gills. Of course, these house the fog lamps and that wide grille that kind of reminds me of an emoji. Now, as far as I can tell, the side profile is very similar to previous Altis offerings, which isn't bad. I'm not gonna knock it. And of course, you've got 17 inch alloy wheels that look pretty good for something that's stock. Now, the side mirrors have turn signals on them and automatically fold, which are always a plus for me. Now, looking at this car from the back, I can really appreciate how wide it is, and it's definitely wider than what I'm used to driving around. While we're here, let's look at how much space you have in the trunk. This is 420 liters of space, more than enough for a small family on an out-of-town getaway, but you can expand that by folding down the rear seat. Speaking of the back seat, you have decent legroom here even though the driver's side is adjusted for me. And to give you guys a bit of context, I'm 5'11". Of course, from the driver's seat, you have all the bits and bobs within arm's length. You also have all the important information available on the dash and this rather large head unit. It has all the basics. You can play music and take calls from your phone via Bluetooth, but sadly, I don't think it has support for Apple Play or Android Auto. Like I said, guys, this is not a full review of the 2020 Toyota Altis Hybrid, but you can expect more automotive content from us moving forward. With that said, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for dropping by and spending a few minutes with me. If you like what you see, give us a thumbs up, sub to the channel, and hit that notification bell. For any questions, leave them down below, and I'll try my best to get to them as soon as I can. For all the latest in tech, and now cars, head to unbox.ph, and of course, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and on TikTok. My name is Tita James. Peace, God bless. See you guys next time, and of course, Please stay safe, guys.